hi guys welcome back so by the title you can see that we're gonna be talking about ready to ship nails I uh, really only use the Apre nails I've had some questions which I'll get into about like different brands and stuff but really quick I just want to show you guys these are the decals I have like a ton of water decals I believe I got these off AliExpress I can't even remember but if I find like the link or where I got them I'll definitely link it down below and I had a poll on my Instagram um, and you guys chose the Batman and Superman so I decided to go with the Batman ones um, just because I really like those colors and you know red is my favorite color so I wanted to go with like a red pop art cartoon type of theme um, for these nails and then kind of show you guys how I create a ready to ship set what goes into it um, answer any questions anybody had so first things first I measure out the nails I mainly make um, size small medium for my ready to ship sets so those come with 14 nails um, if you're new to press-ons I will link down below a press-on size guide that way you know kind of what I'm going off of because um, those numbers don't usually change unless you're using like a different brand um, that like runs smaller or bigger which for that you'll have to kind of figure out as you go which is why I like to stick with a prey because they it's pretty solid the numbers um, the only ones that I really have to change are like the XXL or if I use sculpted and stuff but when it comes to those I just always highly recommend a size kit and then those are my people that will need a custom size. So um, going back to the sizing, the small and the medium, for a small, I use the numbers two, five, four, six, nine, and then a medium, one, five, four, six, nine. So that's why it's super easy to create a small, medium, ready to ship type bundle because you only need to change the thumbs and the pinkies so right here I'm just prepping them I um, sized them all out I still like to prep with a buffer some people don't some people will use um, either just put the paint on or put the polish on the nail just how it is or they like to use I believe there's like a a prep and a dehydrator from a prey um, I've seen that and it's I've seen that it works really good I haven't got to try it yet and then so right here I'm like all over the place right now but right here I had a couple questions on how do I stick the smaller nails onto the um, nail stands because they don't fit like the other nails so what I do is I get like a bigger piece of the putty and kind of like stick it up off of the stand and then press the nail on so the nail is really just on the putty it's not on the stand and then that it works really good so as long as your putty is super sticky the nail is not going anywhere so really quick I'm gonna cut out my decals uh, pick out the ones that I want to use this is my first time doing the pop art comic nails so I you know I'm going into this kind of blind I just kind of researched how to do them and I found like my favorite styles because there's so many different styles like there's no right or wrong in my opinion to doing the comic nails you can do like the outlines you can do as many lines as you want um, it, there's really no right or wrong so I'm just picking out my favorite decals and what I think will look good on this set and go with like my background color um, which is gonna be red I just really liked this um, this all like blue one right here because it says love will tear us apart I just like the saying I thought it was cute so I wanted to use these and then I'm gonna um, go ahead and get the polishes that I'm gonna use I'll let you guys know what colors I'm using and then I will just kind of go through some of the questions that I got as I make the set and you guys can just watch and listen 
And yeah, if you have any other questions like I don't answer or that you see in this video that I didn't explain about the set or anything like that, definitely feel free to comment down below and then I will either answer in a comment or I'm going to be making a part two to this for next Monday with a um a no sizing required ready to ship set so i'm gonna get into that as well i just i know a lot of people um that are my customers they purchase smalls and mediums a lot so those are typically the the um ready to ship sets that i like to make i haven't made very many um like 20 piece or 24 piece sets just because like it's so many nails and it takes so long that i would have to probably do more of a basic set and i don't really like doing super basic sets like i honestly i like to go all out on my sets so it's easier for me to either do a custom or do a 14 piece ready to ship set um but that's just my preference i will go over though how i would make a 20 or 24 piece set because um, one of the questions that I had was would you recommend 20, 16, 14 piece sets um, and what would be the accent nails? So for me, it well, it really just depends on like your business and your customers. If you have customers that are, you know, um, purchasing smalls and mediums, like I said, then I would highly recommend the 14 piece sets. That's what I make and that's a size small medium you just interchange the thumb and the pinky and a lot of times the thumbs and the pinkies fit on that client like the same way so they actually instead of getting like one set out of it they're getting some um like extra thumbs and pinkies so it's it's really cool to do uh ready to ship sets and so as far as a 16 piece set and like what I would like the numbers I would use, I would either go with, um, so with the 14 piece sets, you're doing say a small and a medium. If you wanted to add in, uh, a couple extra nails, I would go with either a number five or a number six, because those are the most, um, like used nails. Um, the number that's the most common in my opinion or that I've seen a lot of people use the fives and the sixes So I would throw in either two extra fives two extra sixes or even make it an 18 piece set and throw in both um, Just so that way you can like kind of guarantee that you'll be able to sell that set in case someone needs multiple fives or multiple sixes um that's what i would do and as far as like accent nails go if you're talking about like the designs for the accent nails um usually i don't really go off of like ring finger um being my accent now i like to switch it up i like to do the pinkies the index fingers um the point like i like to i like to do it all <laughs> like it really just depends on the set that i'm making but um honestly i would do if you're making like like i'm making right now it's the small medium my accent nails are the middle and the ring because i don't have to do like um extras on those like how i'm doing with the frenches so i'm doing the frenches on the pinkies and the thumbs and the pinkies and the thumbs are also the number that i'm adding in which are um, the small or the medium so i hope this makes sense but basically like my accent nails are the middle and ring so that way i only have to do the middle and the ring for the the two sides or the two hands and then i'm um, doing the frenches on the thumbs and the pinkies so that means i have to do them again on the thumbs and the pinkies of the whatever size small or medium that i'm doing um, so that's just like a little bit more work but i mean if you wanted to do like a pinky accent then you would have to do four instead of two um, and then go from there but yeah that's that's how i would do it that's how i recommend doing it it's just easier in that sense um unless you have like all day and all night to be creating these sets then i would go for it i would be doing accent nails like crazy 
I just don't have that time with three kids and you know everything that I have to get done in a day but I still love to create sets that I want to create and not only do custom so that is why I currently have my customs closed I just want to really focus on some ready to ship sets like play with the nail art that I have I have so much nail art I've been dying to do comic nails nobody has ordered them so here I am making ready to ship sets and just kind of showing you guys how I would do them um, as far as a 20 piece set goes I would either do well yeah for a 20 piece set I would say you would probably do two of each or you do um, let's see yeah it would probably just be two of each um, and then that's your 20 piece set and then you can add in obviously two more sixes if you want and two fives and then make it a 24 um piece set and then go from there which that is what i'm gonna be making is the 24 piece set because i want to do the two of each and then add in the fives and the sixes and then just show you guys how that would look so another question that i got for the ready to ship sets is are the sizes already picked yes they are if they say small medium large or anything like that then yes the numbers the size it's already all picked um, if it says no sizing required then that means that that set is going to come with enough nails to where you don't need to know your sizes you can order it you can um, try them on at home pick the ones that fit you best and then go from there and then figure out what your sizes are um, if you are nervous that the nails aren't gonna fit I just always highly recommend a size kit and then you'll know like if a two is gonna fit your thumb or is it gonna be a one or is it gonna be a zero like then you'll know which one's gonna fit and then you can always message me um, you can ask like how do you do a custom set like anything I'm here for anything I always offer custom sizes for any of my sets that are on my site as far as my made to order sets just with ready to ship sets those are sets that i just like have an idea i want to make it and i just make it and so i do it in a size in a standard size i don't do um ready to ship sets in custom sizes because everybody's custom size is different usually not everybody's I mean I have a couple customers that they wear the same exact custom size as me so that's pretty cool but for the most part I just do the small medium um, I don't really do larges because I don't get very many like customers that order larges but I do get quite a few with extra small so I'm thinking about starting to do the extra smalls as well um, but we'll see small medium is just my go-to it's my <laughs> It's, it's easy for me, it's comfortable, it's you know what people buy. It's what they um, already know and what, you know, that's their size. So yeah, um, that's basically it for that question. Um, the next question was, I'm having a hard time selling my ready to ship sets. I find they don't fit my clients um, who order the made to order sets. So yeah, a lot of the times when people order made to order, it's usually custom sizes, or if they are um, standard sizes, then that's a way that you can go off of, are they ordering a small, are they ordering a medium, a large, like what are they ordering? And then that's how you can base your ready to ship sets. Um, and then if you're making the ready to ship sets and they're still not selling, I would recommend just promote, 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 um, post, post, post. I have a hard time with that as well. I don't post like I should. I'm getting back to my consistency. It's getting easier now that my kids are all back in school. Um, it was kind of hard the first couple months to get like back into my routine. Um, but I'm getting there. Um, I would be posting, you know, three times a day. Um, if you have a website, I would be sending emails. If you have like a clearance section or something, do um, 
a sale just to get your rate of ship sets out there or even like so post say you post your rate of ship sets on monday and um, you don't get any sales and then here comes friday i would put them they're on sale every friday those rate of ship sets go on sale that don't sell and then try to get those um to sell if it's still not selling the the one thing that i guess i could recommend is maybe doing more um of like the 20 piece or 24 piece no sizing required ones and then like just really pushing those out unless you just really want to do made to orders i would just push customs or push made to order whatever is selling you have to get those customers and you have to get them to return and you know want to purchase everything you make so also if you have like certain sets on your page that get more likes than another one or get more comments or more whatever more traction um i would say go off of those sets and make those into rate of ship sets like i have done that a lot i got um I, was, I had like a couple custom requests for like some crazy like blinged out nails um ombre uh designer like they were crazy nails and it took it took me so long to create those but those sets like blew up on my page so now every time i make ready to ship sets i really try hard to look back at those and Go off of those because i know that's what people like so just try really hard to like figure out who your audience is what they like what they're purchasing and then um that's how i would base my rate of ship sets also trending nails like right now that's why i'm doing the comic nails because they are trending i have posted so many times about them i finally got a custom request for comic nails so i was like super excited about that it was actually not a custom request it was more like i posted a picture and i i wanted to make those anyways but she wanted to you know basically pre-order the rate of ship set that i'm making because she's a size medium so it, it all worked out, it was, you know, um, it was cool. <laughs> Okay, so now going into another question I had regarding brands and um, like the different sizing that the brands have. Personally, I don't use different brands because of that issue. I also don't really make ready to ship sets in like the XXL um, or even sometimes XLs. I don't really make it because I just feel like it's, I don't feel like it'll fit them the way they would want it to fit. Like I don't want to make something that I know is, you know, different sized or like too big or too small. Like, I don't know. I just, I get nervous when it comes to that. So I really just stick with short, medium, long, um, just because those are pretty standard. Um, all of the prey nails are all pretty much the same. The only ones that I use different are my XXL coffin and I think that's it honestly I have like other brands too like I've used Enel Couture I've used some Amazon brands um, and I really like those but if somebody requests something that is like one of those brands I just I let them know in advance that this is not the normal brand that I use these can run like bigger or smaller um, I'm happy to make them you know in the sizes that you request whatever or you can purchase a size kit and um, it'll send out the same day and we can get the custom sizes that way we know that set's gonna fit I always 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 let people know that before but that's another reason to like why I don't do cuss or I don't do ready to ship sets using different brands I'm just too nervous for that and I don't want like anybody to come at me and be like you said this is a small medium like small medium always fits me in like this brand but it's not fitting me here like what you know I don't want to go through that I have had success with the small medium in a prey all sizes or all shapes and lengths 
besides the XLs and XXLs, which I don't do. I also don't do it in sculpted. I feel like the sculpted ones are so C-shaped that they kind of run big as well. So I have them in stock, but I only use those for customs or if somebody orders a made to order set and they put sculpted and then their sizes or sculpted and a small then i know that i need to use the sculpted nails um but yeah so as far as brands go i just stick to one brand also because when you are sending out your size kits um <clears throat> you want to make sure that 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 is the brand that you're using all the time so that way they know that the nails are going to fit them and you know that you want them to feel comfortable in ordering from you and knowing that their nails are going to fit once they use a size kit so yeah i would just find a brand you like um stick to it if you're making size kits use that brand in the size kits make sure you know which brand you're using and um just use that because I just it's too hard to go from like I don't know three or four different brands like it's just it's too hard <laughs> but I will say if you do have different brands and you just want to use the tips that's definitely a way to practice and doing the no sizing required ready to ship sets which is what I've been wanting to do for a very long time I just haven't had the time so I, I would like to do that soon with like my XXL sets <clears throat> or my XXL nails. I also have like some 5XL nails that I ordered from Enail Couture and I think I've only made like two or three sets from those. So I still have so many nails and I just like, just to practice or just to play like, you know, a, a long, like a nice canvas would be cool. So I would do like a 24 piece set with those just to like use the nails, you know, or create content, like whatever it is. So I might even use those in like a, a video upcoming too and just kind of show you guys like how they fit, um, how to set, like everything. But yeah, that's basically it as far as the brands go. But just to talk a little bit about the set that I'm making right now, I just want to say I'm obsessed with the comic nail art. Like, it's so cool. Um, just doing all these little lines and stuff, like it's so fun. So I just wanted to say really quick, like... <laughs> I'm obsessed. I hope that while you guys were listening to me talk, you're also able to watch and see how I created these. Um, I only did one hand on the, like on camera, and then I did the rest off camera just because I didn't want this video to be like two hours long. And then I'm also gonna be uh, doing a part two anyways. So yeah, I just wanted to show you guys like how I, I decided to create these I found like quite a few inspo pictures online and I just went off of like the favorite ones that I liked and yeah when I just wanted to say too when you're doing um, like the outlines and stuff like that definitely don't be afraid to um, do them like bold this is like this is what the design is it's a bold design like I was not happy with that so I you know I erased it and then um, I always say that too in my videos like if you're not happy with it do not cure it erase it if you don't like it restart like that's what takes me so long honestly with my sets is I just like everything to look perfect <laughs> and this being my first time ever trying these um, I did I erased a lot of times and a couple like lines had me kind of frustrated because I couldn't get it how I wanted it but yeah it's just practice 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 by the time I got to the next hand it was so much easier and I felt like it it was just like it flowed so much nicer so on here I'm probably like shaky these are my first time ever trying them um, 
but I, I am like obsessed with them. So I can't wait. Um, next week I'm going to be doing the 24, I'm probably going to do a 24 piece set and I'm going to be doing fall colors just because like, just because I'm doing comic nails, I don't want to take away from the fact that we are in fall. It's November. Like I still want to do fall Thanksgiving, um, designs and stuff. I don't want to only like limit myself like I still want to do comic I still want to do fall but I like to just like add it all in mix it up like just have fun with the nails <laughs> so I'm just gonna finish up this French nail and let you guys watch and then I will come back on here and show you guys how I do the water decals and just kind of like tell you guys little things that I've learned <clears throat> from doing water decals um, and like what has helped me to make them look super nice and like I don't know just really good on the nail because when I first started doing water decals I didn't really like them and I just they would mess up they they weren't like sticking to the nail right or they would get um, like wrinkles in them so I just want to show you guys how I do those really quick and then that's really it for this set and this video I hope I was able to help you guys and um, teach you guys something if it did help you definitely be sure to let me know down below either a like a comment um, subscribe if you haven't already I have videos coming out every Monday as of right now and this is the new series that we're starting um, it's just all about ready to ship sets and like how to make them what goes into a ready to ship set um, just little things like that. Any questions you guys may have, I'll definitely answer uh, in the next video, which is going to be a part two. Uh, but that's really it for this video. quick I didn't show it but I mean in the beginning I did but I'm using the wildflowers matte top coat it is my absolute number one matte top coat um, ever since I've used it I will not switch it again and if you can see in this like the difference between the matte and the gloss that matte is just it's so pretty and it's 
it's the it's the best map to me anyways if you guys have recommendations or anything i definitely would like a backup just in case um and you guys could let me know like which matte top coats you like and which ones um come out super matte just like this one but as of right now like wildflowers my go-to 100 percent I just love it so yeah I just wanted to let you guys know that and now we're gonna get into the water decals um, be sure when you do the water decals you take off that little plastic piece I've definitely left it on before and it just messes up the whole decal like you cannot get it off you might be able to but I couldn't and I had to like get rid of that decal I couldn't use it anymore so I was pretty sad about that but what I'm doing really quick, um, I didn't put top coat on those gloss ones yet, so I just wiped off the sticky layer so that way there's no stick or anything like that on there. And then these tweezers were like really giving me an issue. They're brand new, but they wouldn't like hold anything, so I don't like them. <laughs> but anyway, we're just gonna stick the decal on the nail, take off like excess water and stuff, and then stick the decal. You have to work kind of fast, but at the same time, like be patient with it and just really smooth it out as gently as possible to get any like water bubbles out, air bubbles, um, any wrinkles, anything like that. But you don't want to like push too hard or like pull too hard on them because they will rip. I've had that happen and it's not fun <laughs> but yeah that's really it and then just kind of like form it to the nail you have time it's like right now I'm still like just forming it getting all those like wrinkles out and stuff and then really just make sure it's it's perfectly on the nail <laughs> This is what it's looking like before I add anything else. I am going to go ahead and do the other one really quick and then I'm going to top coat with a gloss top coat just to seal it and make sure that the decal is not going anywhere and then I'm going to add like a little bit of nail art to it just to make it look a little bit more like hand painted and just give it the effect um, that I want it to have. So as far as nail art goes, the only thing I wanted to add was just an outline really around the nail because they are already comic decals so there's not really anything I should add um, but I just wanted to kind of keep it with like matching the other nails and have that outline go around it and then on one of them I did add like the little, um, I guess you can call it like an exc exclamation mark 
uh, just to like give it, I don't know, something fun. And I thought it came out really cute. So I'll let you guys go ahead and watch. And then I have the final set at the very end and they came out so cute. Like I just feel like that little outline just did so much and it just like helped the nail and then when I put that matte top coat on it just brought everything together it looked so good <music> this far thank you guys so much this is how they came out i am obsessed i cannot wait to do a fall themed set next week these are my cute little boxes that i just got i am in love with them and they're really deep so that you can put other stuff like in there with them or multiple sets or whatever but i just want to say thank you guys so much for watching if you haven't subscribed please subscribe um let me know if there's anything you guys want to see next if there's anything else i can help with i absolutely loved making this video for you guys and i cannot wait to give you guys some more information next week and do a super long set 24 piece set like i'm so excited thanks guys bye